میشه Okay, good evening everyone. So let us start with chapter 2 of our second book that is understanding the difference between the ailment and the disease. So before starting uh, with the next, uh, next chapter, I would like to ask if any one of you have any kind of doubt regarding the last chapter which we did on Monday. So we can move further. Like Rixel had doubt in question number five and six. Any other issue to anyone? Or shall we move forward? Yes, apart than five and six, I am clear. Okay. I think nobody is responding. So they understood each and everything. I'm moving forward now. Okay, let us start with chapter two. That is the understanding difference between the ailment and the disease. As uh, in the last chapter, we studied about health. हमने हेल्थ के बारे में पढ़ा नाउ डॉक्टर संजय कुमार दाल पिया जो आलू चाप बन गया सर इफ नॉट प्लीज म्यूट कर लीजिए ये प्याज का पटोड़ा आलू चाप खाइए गरम नाश्ता नहीं रहने दो डॉक्टर संजय कुमार Thank you. Sir. Okay. So, in the last chapter, we studied about health, right? What are the various factors of health? What is health? What is wellness? And what are the things that uh, consist of health? So, in this chapter, we will be discussing about disease and ailments. Now, health and disease, they both are the cordial concept. Cordial concept means that health can only be affected by a disease, right? Disease is a combination of environment, human, and the organism or the antigen which is leading to that disease, right? So if I talk about ailment and disease, what is, they, they both look a little similar if I talk about in the sense of illness, but there is a huge difference between ailment and disease. And what's the difference is, that ailment is a, a type of illness that can be uh, treated within the home or by a simple medication. There is not much risk of uh, life in ailment. Like, for example, if I talk about the examples of uh, ailment, like cold, cough, or the congestion, or the stomach ache, or constipation, or allergies, these are the ailments. Ailments जो होते हैं, they are treatable at home. उनको हम घर पे भी treat कर सकते हैं and by simple medication से उसको treat किया जा सकता है. That is ailment. That illness is ailment. Whereas on the other hand, if I talk about disease, then disease cannot be treated by the simple means or they cannot be treated within the home. The risk of life is more towards disease. Like, for example, if I talk about disease, then like uh, cancer or any uh, diabetes, hypertension, kidney issue, any liver issue, heart issue. So, these are the example of disease. All right. Hence, from here, what we found is that disease are more dangerous if I compare it with ailment. Ailment, which can be treated by whom? But the disease, जो हम घर पे treat नहीं कर सकते, example उनके हैं जैसे cancer, diabetes, hypertension, ये हम घर पे treat नहीं कर सकते, simple medication से treat नहीं कर सकते, we need to have a proper uh, treatment for this, right? So that is disease. जबकि ailment 
एक सिंपल लेस रिस्क और लेस डेंजरस है एज कम्पेयर टू डिजीज सो आई होप यू माइट हैव अंडरस्टूड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एलिमेंट एंड डिजीज द बोथ आर डिफरेंट सो दैट इज द एलिमेंट एंड डिजीज the uh, the uh, difference between both of them has given very clearly like like if i talk about ailment not serious situation but disease is a serious situation no risk to life if i talk about towards ailment risk of life is there if i talk about disease that can be treated with the home remedies what can be treated this this the, the illness which is known as ailment but the disease cannot be treated then the example is given in both of the columns now let us switch on to the disease what happens that disease can be caused by many of the factors disease alag alag factors se cause ho jate hain maybe internal factor or external factor if i talk about internal factor which includes your hypertension for example if i talk about the external factors external factors includes your various factors right your uh, genetics then uh, your eating habits your lifestyle there are plenty of reasons that can lead to disease which can be caused by the internal factor as well as external factor so disease is a border it, it's it's broader term that can be uh, used to describe the social problem distress of pain or dysfunctioning of any organ right it is a disability or infection that can be in a form of infection any disorder any injury any disability so that is a disease now in 2.4 in this chapter we will be talking about the common illness that happens kuch aisi common illness hoti hai jo hoti rehti hai we will be talking all about those uh, few of the illness in this chapter we will be talking about what is the illness then we will be talking about what are the symptoms symptoms is the reaction of those disease jo hamari body show karegi with whatever reaction that our body shows is the symptom of that particular disease or that particular illness so we will be talking about the illness then we will be talking about what happens into that illness so this all will be done in today's chapter plus one more thing that i would like to share when i'll be talking about illness the first illness that i'll be talking about is allergy and uh, by a search help i had a talk uh, actually i made a uh, that uh, case study regarding wheat allergy uh, because of sir because sir gave me the number of that uh, patient and then i had to talk to him then i asked the symptoms then what had happened to them what treatment did they took what sir gave the treatment for that wheat allergy and uh, a lot more so i will be discussing that case study with the with you people regarding the wheat allergy after the chapter get finished so uh let us start with the common illness now the first one we will be talking about is allergy okay now before going into allergies there are few terms that i want to discuss with you the first term is immune system here now what's immune system immune system is basically the organ or your cell or your protein of the body that provide a resistance to the infection or to the toxins if i am talking about infection and toxins it means any infection that is coming uh, from the outside right from the environment and and try to enter in our body so these organs these proteins or cells they, they provide a resistance towards that that's the immune system so that is the immune system the second thing that i want to discuss second term is your allergen now what's allergen 
allergen are basically the substance that can cause any allergic reaction. For example, it is not necessary. One more thing that I want to tell that it is not necessary that I have an allergic reaction towards uh, uh, wheat. It means that every individual will be having uh, the allergic reactions towards wheat. Why? Because my immune system is able to recognize that wheat as allergen. That is why my body is giving a reaction towards that allergy. Now, let me explain in Hindi. What happens is, immune system hota hai koi bhi organ, cell, ya fir protein, जो रेजिस्ट करेगा बाहर के जो भी एंटीजन होंगे जो एंटर करने की कोशिश करेगा हमारी बॉडी के अंदर एंड एलर्जेंस आर द सब्सटेंस वो सब्सटेंस होते हैं जो कोज करते हैं एलर्जिक रिएक्शन जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल मैं हूं मेरे को वीट से एलर्जी है दैट इज मेरा जो इम्यून सिस्टम है वो वीट को एज एन एंटीजन लेगा it is not necessary zaruri nahi hai ki aapki body aapka immune system will also take wheat as allergy that is the reason yahi reason hota hai why i am allergic towards wheat and you are not so that is allergens so let us move on to the allergies now the first illness that we talked about is allergies what happens that these allergies they trigger the allergens right the harmful substances for the body and what are the various causes the causes of this is the sensitive immune system towards that particular allergen whenever that come in contact with that energy leading to allergic reaction now uh, i studied somewhere that around the 14 foods which are allergic which are allergic and they are being considered at, at they are considered as allergen food categories and they were like uh, they were wheat uh, egg it was there then uh, the nuts were there fish was there milk was there soya bean was there peanut was there and they were like 14 of the food were there that were allergen hence when, uh, when you might have seen the packets uh, it is written that it is it consists of uh, peanut and it consists of wheat gluten and so and so because few people are allergic towards that hence they have to indicate that in the labeling on the packets so the, uh, that, that was the cause and the things that happens now what are the symptoms symptoms like how does our body react when that happens Clearly, there widely there are many of the symptoms that has been seen when a person is allergic towards anything, and uh, some are like eye irritation, runny nose, then stuffy nose, then watery eyes, sneezing, sometimes itchy nose or throat. So these are the various symptoms that happens due to this allergic reaction. I hope everybody understood that. Yes. great yes uh, yes 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 let us move on to the second illness i am just talking about the common illness that we come across it doesn't mean that these are the only illness so the second illness is cold and flu so you might have uh, uh, somebody thought of like what's influenza the cold and cough that happens which is very much common uh, among the people right of any age so uh, there are plenty of things and the causes that happens uh, uh, there are plenty of causes because of which cold and flu happens and those are the first one is the respiratory infection second one is when you get contact with a person it's communicable communicable means that it can be transferred from uh, the infected person to a healthy person through like uh, when you sneeze like the droplet that get transferred uh, through uh, when you talk right so these are the various causes and this is a communicable illness that happens and get transferred from an infected person to a 
healthy person. So that's cold and flu. Now, what's the symptoms if I talk about generally fever happens. The second one is headache. The third one is intense pain or the fatigue generally happens. Then uh, if it is more severe, the cold and flu is more severe than the cough formation takes place. And it may lead to uh, ear infection sometimes because uh, it has happened with me. My uh, I had a cold and because of which my ear started paining. Because there is a tube, I guess, uh, which connects from throat to ear. And that coat uh, filled with the pus, leading to ear infection. So these are the things that happens in cold and flu. And the cold symptoms, if I talk about, is the running nose, sneezing, sore throat, formation of cough. So if I talk about cold and cough, it takes 2 to 14 days to get normal. Whether you take the medicine or you do not take the medicine. That I found that. That was the second illness. The third one is conjectivitis. It is also known as pink eye. Now what's this and how does it happen? What are the causes of uh, this uh, conjectivitis? It is basically what happens that our eye this white portion of the eye that get red and that get red because of the various reason. The reason can be the bacterial or the viral infection. There can be uh, allergic reactions toward any pollens. Now what's pollens? Anybody? What's pollen? Uh, uh, pollen is from the uh, flowers, the yeah. seeds. Yeah. yeah. Pollens are basically uh, the, the, the damage that lead to the formation of further more fertilization and so on. So what happens during spring season when the wind uh, formation takes place from the flowers, they start uh, adding it with the dust and reaches to the people. Furthermore, leading to the various other allergic reactions and conjunctivitis, basically pink eye and so on. Animal dander, that is a type of uh, dander that happens in animals, which is very hard. So uh, that, uh, that results in chemical irritant that happens. So this white uh, ball of the eye that changes into red color. Now, what are the various symptoms? Symptoms, if I talk about redness in the eye, then there is a burning sensation and sometimes a green and a yellow discharge that start coming up from the uh, from the eye. That also happens. And then sometimes your uh, it, uh, the extra tear that uh, tear that come off of your eye, and uh, there are plenty other reasons leading to this conjunctivitis or the pink eye. And uh, sometimes blurry vision happens because of this. ETI and the lymph node also gets swell because of this pink eye. So that was the third illness that we discussed. The next one is diarrhea, which is very much common. The various causes, uh, there are plenty of causes. The first is the viral infection. Nowadays, uh, this because of uh, COVID that is going on right now, uh, the most common symptom is this diarrhea. This is because of the contaminate, uh, contaminated food, contaminated water, any bacterial infection or viral infection, then parasitic infection in the body, which is going through food and water. Then there is food intolerance, like those who do not have an ability to digest the lactose. Lactose is a type of sugar that is present in uh, the dairy products, like for example, our milk, milk and milk products, right? So many of the people, they cannot digest this lactose. So that is food intolerance because of which diarrhea takes place. And then overuse of alcohol. Then there is a meditation. Sometimes what happens, medication antibiotics and antacids 
Now, antibiotics are basically for the bacterial infection. If you are taking continuously the heavy dose of the various antibiotics, that may lead to diarrhea. Then there is anti-acid. Anti-acids are basically the basis that has to be taken to neutralize the acid which is taking place inside your body. So, um, like uh, the dosage should be discussed with the doctor and uh, taking off much of uh, anti-acids and antibiotics may lead to diarrhea. Then there is menstruational cramps. Then stack or the panic attack are also the causes of diarrhea. The symptoms are the watery or the loose stools, frequent bowel movement. Sometimes there is a urge to do, but you do not go. Then there is a cramping or the pain in the abdomen. Then bloating and possible of a fever of the bloody stool sometimes. That becomes because of infection. So depend on the causes, what type of uh, cause. If it is a bacterial infection, then uh, there may be uh, the, stool, the bloody stool. And if it is uh, uh, because of uh, any tension or something, then the loose stool, that may come. So plenty of things that uh, happens. Hence, the symptoms also depend on the type of cause. The fifth one is headaches, which is very much common illness that might have, everybody might have had headache, mild headache. Now, the reason of these headaches are many. Like there are three types of headache, if I talk about that is. The first is the cluster headache. The second is the tension type headache. And the third one is migraine. Now, all these three uh, or type of headaches are different. Like if I talk about cluster, which means that there's a sharp pain at a particular or a specific point in the head. Whereas if I talk about migraine or the tension type headache, which is uh, depending on, like if I'm talking about the tension type headache, now that pain is not caused uh, by stress, but because of the depression and the various activities of the poor postures you do. Then there is a migraine that happens. Now, there are plenty of causes that uh, takes place leading to headache. Like, for example, what are the causes? Number one is your emotional or your physical stress. Second one is your fatigue. I hope everybody know what fatigue is. Thakan. Yeah. Thakan. Yeah. The next one is irregular sleep habits, which is very much common nowadays, leading to hypertension. Irregular sleep habits. Because more the people, they start uh, before going to the bed and just getting up bed, they try to use the mobiles and getting late for their work also. So these habits really leads to hypertension and many other issues. The next one is your skipping me. If you are busy enough, you skip the me. Caffeine use or withdrawal. Then there is hormonal factors like menstruation and all. Then there is MSG. Now what's this monosodium glutamate? This is basically a flavoring agent that has been added in the food for the flavor that may lead to headache. Now food with nitrates, alcohol, Sometimes medicines becomes a reason for headache. There are certain foods, including your nuts, ace cheese, or red wine, chocolate, leading to headache. Then change in weather is also a reason. The time zone that changes and the attitude. Attitude means like when I am uh, going towards... Uh, I, I belong from north, right? And if I go more towards Sikkim, lay side, then that may lead to headache because I'm not uh, addicted to that. That is adaptation. Now, the symptoms of migraine. Basically, what happens, if I talk about migraine, then... In a particular, like half portion of your head start paining, and eventually that is start that start uh, spreading in both of the sides, and that uh, last for several hours, 
and in uh, like uh, migraine which is very strong people you know they even not uh, able to see the things their eyes become blur the vision becomes blur they are not able to see the things what is going on so they are plain, uh, then leading to vomiting nausea and light and noises they becomes literally very worse for them for those people symptoms for tension type headache there is a dull ache that a ache remains within the head every time like last for half an hour then uh, feeling of uh, pressurized in your both side of your head so that's the various type of uh, headaches and the symptoms related to that the next one is your stomach aches intestinal gas if i talk about the gastric issues that uh, takes place so that is like uh, every individual should pa everybody passes the uh, gases regularly so that is a combination of your hydrogen your oxygen the nitrogen your carbon dioxide and methane and so on so what happens when that passage of gases doesn't takes place so that gas has to stimulate within your stomach leading to pain and not only leading to pain in your uh, stomach but also that 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 gas reaches to your head and your head also start pain because of your that uh, stomach gases so uh, there there are plenty of causes that uh, take place actually during eating like when we eat or drink very rapidly that can be one cause then uh, drinking through a straw the why i'm saying drinking through a straw what happens when we drink it through a straw while swelling or that taking that we are taking air with us that break down the undigested food by the various bacteria that is going inside right leading to the gas or the pain smoking eating hard candies so these are the various causes that uh, that that becomes indigested amount uh, increase the indigestion now people trigger uh, triggers vary from person to person like that depends if the physical activities of an individual are quite high then the passage of that gases is very much common if uh, you compare it with the person whose physical activities are not much and there are plenty of foods that lead to uh, gases like beans lenticles cabbage your milk products onion carbonated beverages sorbitol now what happens is this uh, gases also somewhat uh, have a relationship with what you eat, what you are eating at what time period like if i talk about i am eating few of the vegetables which should not be eaten during the night time why i am saying during the night time because during the day we do somewhat few of the activities and if we do few of the uh, physical activities because of which that gas get passed out right on the other hand during sleep you just only lay down your you go to a rest your body goes to a rest and the passage remains in that that gas remain intact into your body so that do not get passed due to which leading to pain mm -hmm. so it totally depends on the time at what time you are eating what you are eating and what kind of food you are eating like what are the, your activities your age because at age also your activities are uh, depends like Oh, uh, the one who is uh, uh, a seven to eight year old guy uh, is more active physically if we compare it uh, to the old age guy the last but not the least is vomiting so i have talked about all the very common illness the last one is your vomiting now what happens uh it is uh, there, there there is also very uh, plenty of causes that is uh, leading to vomiting and the first 
next one is discussed here is lambrinitis. What, what is this? I just know I'm not able to pronounce it. It's lambrinitis. Nitis. Nitis. Yes, sir. So uh, what happens into this is there is a, an inflammation in the inner ear uh, of the nerve that is connecting your inner ear to brain. That is this, leading to the various causes and even vomiting. Head injury is yet another issue or the cause. Then there is stomach ulcer. Then hepatitis. Hepatitis is uh, when uh, the inflammation... Hepatitis is yet uh, inflammation of the liver. That can be hepatitis A, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, D and E. Plenty of hepatitis. Then there is... Uh, Stomach flu, that also because of uh, various bacteria, the microorganisms, virus, bacteria, or uh, any food allergen or overuse of uh, alcohol or even psychological reaction towards a particular thing may lead to uh, the vomiting. Plus, when a person is getting contact with an uh, infected person to a healthy person, the transformation of viruses that takes place Hence, more leading to uh, this vomiting, diarrhea, and uh, cramps, abdominal cramps, and there plenty of other things. So, that is vomiting. Now, I told you that I will be discussing. I think that is the end of the chapter. Yeah. But before ending the chapter, as I told that I will be discussing a case study with you people related to wheat allergy. Let me share that first of all. Now, this is the case study of wheat allergy. Which I wrote. So, what happened? What had happened actually? Uh, Naresh sir told me about a girl who was uh, 11 years old from uh, Mahendragarh. And she was suffering from a wheat allergy. So, uh, sir told me to talk to her mother. And then ask about the various conditions, then what she has been through, what were the symptoms, then where she, from where did uh, she took the treatment, how she come to know that she is suffering from wheat allergy. Uh, her name was Chavi, I guess. Her name was Chavi. So uh, then I just called that uh, that uh, lady, the mother of Chav, um, basically the mother, Chavi's mother. Then uh, she told me about that uh, her child, uh, whenever uh, when she was seven months old, she, uh, whenever she used to try, uh, she try her to eat a little bite of uh, chapati to her. She used to vomit, and she used to react to, like. She, She wasn't to retaliate. Her body started to, Chavi's body started to retaliate. Furthermore, then she took it. Uh, Z, Praventilica, Hemotox, uh, Zy enzymes. These are the various supplements 
that have their advantages or their functions. So Osar gave him gave her a treatment, and within eight months, again uh, the plan of for a treatment started. Uh, she started eating the products related to wheat, and now she is eating very uh, fluently the all the products related to wheat, and she is absolutely fine. So I wrote a case study on the basis of that. So in this abstract is basically what I am representing. This is a case study regarding the wheat allergy and what are the various problems that has been encountered by the patient. The patient is Chavi and what was the treatment and the outcomes of that particular treatment. The next is your introduction in which I have introduced uh, uh, about the digestive system, introduced about the immune system and how the allergy, which I discussed in the class, that how the allergens react to the immune system and how the immune system react those allergens as antigen or their own uh, microorganisms. So for Chavi, this wheat allergen, they become allergic leading to vomiting and uh, leading to uh, the various weakness. She wasn't able to eat, diarrhea, and she was very lean, pale color. So plenty of uh, symptoms that has been shown during this. Then I have discussed about the history that uh, she was 11 years old from Mahindragar, that in Haryana, and uh, no family history of this uh, wheat allergy. Then what was the age? What are the changes that took place in her body leading to stomach ache and vomiting and diarrhea and plenty of other things? Then what was the finding? Finding is that she took the treatment. What were the symptoms? And then how she came to know that she is suffering from wheat allergy. Then what were the treatments that she took from allopathy? She tried it. But later on, when she joined Xyropathy, then what was the treatment system and what was the treatment technique that have been followed? What are the various supplements that were utilized for her treatment that has been discussed? Then what were the outcomes? Outcomes, like, uh, like after the treatment, was she able to eat the wheat-related products, uh, wasn't she? And how does she started eating and all that? So this was the case study which I wrote for wheat allergy. So I just wanted to show you people how the case studies are made and how uh, the wheat allergy is an allergic reaction that has been discussed. What, what is the cause of wheat allergy? So the cause, as I told you, our immune system immune system hai, that behaves that wheat as the antigen for us. Hence, give a reaction towards that antigen. Ma'am, I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, Ma'am, uh, the person, like the child is have, having wheat allergy at the age of 11 years. So, uh, if might be the case, she is having allergic to wheat or gluten. So that might be that might be because that might be uh, like in a earlier age also. Like yeah. One, she, one yeah, or two, I... she might she might be facing the same thing. And yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so after yeah, that, as I told you that when she started eating the little bite of that chapati, she used to retaliate that with the vomit. Okay. She wasn't able to eat from the starting. Then she came to know that she was suffering uh, from the wheat allergy. Their parents started making, uh, letting her eat something else rather than wheat. From seventh month itself. Yeah. And it some... took 11 uh, years. She took the treatment from various uh, uh, like doctors and uh, allopathy and everything she tried. Homeopathy. Even she tried that. But the so root cause was it, ended by Zyropathy and Arisa. Now, is it necessary if you are we are allergic to something, Sonia? Uh, yes. if, if we are allergic to something, then it is is it necessary to have it? 
like gluten these uh, these are you know, we always uh, nowadays Ma'am, uh, yes it is very much necessary like we should eat each and everything why we should eat each and everything because it is not necessary that a nutrient that is present in wheat like it is the fiber that is present in wheat that is present in something is it present in rice it's not. So we pilot. are getting not. Uh, we are not getting that nutrient in our body. But uh, now it is. Yes, now it is. Over to sir. <laughs> Over to sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, now, uh, may I request everyone to come online? Kindly switch on. We are online, sir. Yeah, may I talk to you? Over to sir. Switch on your videos. Switch on your uh, microphones. Now, I'll first answer Aparna's question that there are uh, now there mm -hmm. are uh, methods by which you can avoid mm -hmm. everything exactly. possible which is causing an allergy to you. And uh, it can be overcome. But the thing is, uh, there are a lot of ingredients such as this girl, she, her height was not growing because she was not eating wheat. So there are ways, yes, There are so many, uh, maybe there are thousands of uh, children and uh, I'll be talking about uh, allergy because Sonia has covered the chapter uh, as per the modern medicine system or as per the existing uh, things which are there in the medical science. Today, I'll be talking to you uh, something which is beyond medical science or which is not being talked about, which is not uh, written, which is not uh, <clears throat> incorporated, you can say. So first is uh, gyropathy is still considered that most of the diseases, including cancer, asthma, ulcer, arthritis, anything is treatable at home. Because in my line of treatment, I do not ask the patient to rush to the hospital until and unless there is some emergency. Yeah, it excels. No talks. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, in my line of treatment, I request people to remain at home in calm, serene environment, eat good food, and eat these supplements which are being recommended so that. You, you recover back from any disease or ailment whatsoever you have. So, including Corona, I'll tell you, I've treated more than 8,000 people in US. In India, people hardly believe me. <laughs> they don't have faith. There are very less people who believe. And the second thing which comes in front of them is the cost of my treatment. I don't know. Since I cure, there, there is a difference. I'll Tell you, if you have to do a whitewash to a room, it will only require uh, some this thing, chuna and brush and a person to do it. Yes, hardly anything. But, yeah, but if you require a repair of your room, then you will need a lot of resources, then yes, only it yes. will get repaired. So certainly right. the cost, cost of repair is going to be higher than cost of doing a whitewash. So if you are only controlling a symptom, even single tablet is good enough. To suppress that symptom. But if you are elim eliminating a root cause, it will require more strength, more power, more resources to the body. And then only it will heal up. That ailment will go off. So, <clears throat> according to me, uh, except for emergencies, when some accident takes place or there is some surgery required and it is a need, means surgery is a need. What happens in the present uh, scenario? There are surgeries which are done for, uh, which are done, are not actually required. They are doctor surgeries, you can say. 
and many people they the, the honest people they uh, do not for the same uh, this thing patient and honest uh, person will not do any surgery whereas if you land up then because uh, nowadays you must be uh, aware and you must have must be hearing that there is quota for everything every department has been given so many surgeries so many ct scans so many mris so many tests and every doctor or head of the department of the department has to meet those commitments to earn his salary whatever his salary is. so it has become little difficult to realize whether what is correct and what is required or not but yes wherever surgery is required hospitals are the only alternatives wherever there is any emergency accident or something some breakage of bones and all this hospitals are the only solution then <clears throat> for severe symptoms or symptom control this is the only solution means uh, the modern medicine system has best symptom control medication so uh, they are very good at doing symptom control but again with symptom control if you take the medication for a prolonged duration then it results into another ailment such as i have observed many cases wherein a person went to uh, went for a treatment of some ailment at the age of 30 35 and as and when he died 80 70 65 whatever his age was because age is not decided by anyone matlab no doctor no hakim no vaid no gyropath nobody can decide the age of a person it is all destined so death and birth i call it it is destiny we work in between this death and birth and our main job is to improve the quality of life the difficulties were you are facing we are to eliminate those difficulties so that you are able to live healthy and comfortable life <clears throat> including the first one so it is unimaginable that the system which is supporting supposed to be supporting health is not supporting the health in that manner and none of the things are getting reverted back if you get a bp at 30 you will die with bp at 80 80 90 whatever it is and you will continue eating the medication so i don't know what is in destiny for humans but yes i do not find it that it is actually healthy now skin allergy i am only strengthening the immune system as sonia rightly brought out that your immune system considers <clears throat> some ingredients which are entering the body actually i told you even the food we eat water we drink the baby which comes into the mother's home is an outside element and immune system tries to uh, throw it out but then in due course of time it understands because of lot of other communications existing in the, within the body that yes this is not to be rejected this is in turn after processing is going to be helpful so the body keeps it and accepts it so what happens in allergy basically your immune system reacts to some element now reaction here i'll tell you uh, a very this thing so uh, <laughs> this is not to be told in the class but if i don't tell you then you will not understand so that if you are going in a uh, in any uh, uh, lane we have gone to some place so there will be dogs who will start barking and you will find the weakest dog will bark more than all other dogs this <laughs> this is what i have experienced so what happens the same thing happens in your body the system if it is weak it is going to react more and it will start causing trouble so what happens in gyropathy we strengthen immunity 
we give you supplements which strengthen immunity and the immunity takes care of its once it is strong enough it doesn't react to these allergens which people are suffering with so i'm not doing any magic i'm only strengthening immunity and by which all allergies are it is possible to solve all types of allergy <clears throat> and allergy is no ailment i do not consider allergy whether it is a disease or an ailment i don't consider that then uh, <clears throat> sir i have a question i i ha uh, yeah so uh, different allergies will have different causes or it is all because of the weakness of immune system it is weakness of the immune system on a, a particular this thing such as allergy. your ha uh, that organ right. involved has to be taken into consideration because every mm -hmm. organ has a every organ has a different immune system like she told us about uh, the wheat allergy yeah now there are some people who are lactose resistant lactose intolerance both now lactose so both of these yeah. pertain to the digestive system per se not only this not only this but even your sneezing continuous incessant sneezing Falling. or uh, change of weather Uh, cough, cold, and this thing. This is all lack of immunity. Ha, but Nothing. like you said, that different systems are involved. So but in case yes, of needing, the supplements, the, the supplements are designed according to the uh, where it is affecting your body. Which That's what I think. Is getting it. Yeah. So the if you are wheat tolerant or lactose intolerant, the line of treatment will be same. Same, same, same. Wheat and lactose is same because it is because gut related. Gut digestive system. it is gut related system sir uh, we also need to be taught about gut biome and the yes gut health it's a very interesting and, and something which is so important yet it is not taught anywhere yeah we will teach you a, we will kanal sahab we will we are going to teach you everything till the time you don't tell us to stop teaching you sir <laughs> <laughs> so. no it's it's very sad that the real issues that we need to be taught right from school days these are the first things that should be taught what is gut health mm. what is health has anybody ever taught us what is health <laughs> see the thing is this is the least concerned subject theek okay? hai and It lot of things are lot of industry which is thriving on lack of our knowledge correct it is something like votes people want voters to be illiterate and ignorant that is why yeah. they that's how they will get votes so yeah. it is simple as that this industry will thrive when people are ignorant of health correct <laughs> i have See, one question uh, sir yeah yeah so i myself and me as well as my son means uh, i am talking about something else yeah my grandfather my me and my son we all have same type of allergy that means uh, that is potato allergy okay so the way my grandfather used to react for uh, eating uh, potato i am also reacting same way my son is also reacting same way It is genetic, or it could be it is, a immune it, response. It is genetic. It is genetic, and it is in your DNA. Okay. Yeah. But but we do repair DNA. Okay. So your grandfather may have suffered, but you and your son will not suffer this. Yeah. <laughs> but it will take me around eight to nine months to repair the DNA because it takes some more time than normal allergy cases. Okay. so it is possible to repair so we uh, had typical smell we sense typical smell for potato and okay. if we if it gets if it get in stomach then uh, everything means goes wrong for two yeah. or more days or one week see oh. di digestion of a food takes place from the moment you get the aroma yeah. or you Uh, yes. look at it your eyes start digestion process yeah okay. so there are a lot yeah. of activities digestion is not only when the food goes inside 
some breakdown takes place and it gets digested and broken and all this the yeah. digestion has a very big uh, this thing but yes it is solvable i, I can, uh, we can solve this by using combination of supplements it will work dna can be altered in this manner so typical yeah. allergic reaction it's uh, continuously for two days vomiting then dysentery then uh, 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 continuous thirst you have to give me an opportunity to deal with this okay sure now uh, sonia was telling that uh, any type of uh, infection viral infection or whatsoever happens any type of any amount of uh, medicines you take but it takes around 14 days to get resolved and it gets resolved on its own so now what is that 14 days why 14 days it gets resolved because by that time your immunity takes charge of the system yes sir it gets settled and it wipes off that virus so <clears throat> it gets resolved but the thing is we have developed a product excellent product now <laughs> that cup cold cup cold reliever and it is working excellent uh, within 2 to 3 days now we don't uh, tell people to wait for 14 days as sonia was telling we do it in 2 to 3 days time cup cold and uh, these allergies we are able to resolve is that uh, so is it that dental you talk of dentalin it was, it was earlier named as dentalin but people were getting confused with dentalin Absolutely. so we renamed it as ccr cough cold reliever so it is very simple now everybody can identify and relate to this condition i had read in that uh, uh, the flyer that it is effective in migraine also yes yes so it, it, does it cure migraine from the root or it will give no, that temporary no, relief no it, it's a temporary relief but you will get relief and it's for toothache also yes it was mentioned that it is for toothache toothache also. swelling in the gums it and is for uh, many things sir. mouth ulcer mm -hmm. then white oh, spots inside oh. the mouth for all no, those during migraine you have to Uh, we could not hear uh, Rixel. Rixel, just write it in the chat because it's not audible. Yeah, myself. no. During migraine, you have to rub or massage. You have to apply it on your head like this, and if it is not in the forehead, apply it in the back, wherever it is. Pain. And for uh, toothache and. mouth related then also we have to rub okay it. okay yeah just put it in the mouth put it on the yeah. spot where it is aching it will go off it helps even muscular That pain i do every day every night while before sleeping i take two to five drops <laughs> <laughs> yes yes and throat pain also yeah For it was in throat pain, cough, congestion, everything. How it is, Rixel? How was the taste? Taste is taste, very good. Uh, now I'm used to. Now I'm used to. Before, so I was like, uh, thoda mitti ka tel kaise kaise tha. I too had that taste once. <laughs> But now, now CCR, CCR is much improved. Now you will not say mitti ka tel. It was earlier mitti ka tel type. <laughs> okay although there is no oh, mitti ka tel in that but the oils were little uh, strong so we have somehow done some yeah. modification in it and next okay, product okay. which is available is yeah. excellent basically cup cold is also <clears throat> due to weakness of the immune system only yes but people who have sinusitis yes. uh, are prone to uh, cup cold especially yes. cold See, sinusitis is what your sinus pocket gets filled up with the in, uh, infected New material. Product. Infected material yeah. gets stored in your sinus pockets, and as and when the environment is conducive, it evolves. So it becomes severe. Now, by continuous use of this CCR, what I'm telling, sinusitis can go off completely. And uh, recently, there are around three cases which have been reported to me. that 
people who are using uh, asthaline for last 20 years they have right. stopped as users of asthaline and they are now using only ccr they don't need asthaline so is basically for lungs for asthma 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 is lungs asthma is lungs yeah but sinusitis is the where the sinusitis is are yeah sinus so pockets are here the nose around your eyes and nose eyes. and this thing yeah so, what is the uh, uh, time period for sinusitis cure? Three to four months. Three to four months. Yeah. Because we don't know what is the intensity, how long it has been existing. But we normally tell people three to four months. If you get relief before that, it's well and good. You can stop it and you can reduce the usage pattern. Yeah. So, uh, there are a lot of things. Don't worry. Tinnitus, mm -hmm. again, Sonia was telling it's the infection. See, what happens, most of the people don't understand. This cough cold, uh, chronic cough cold leads into the ear pain, what Sonia was telling. And mm -hmm. then this infection, if it travels inside, it goes inside the this thing, then it uh, weakens your hair-like structure which generate the wave into an electrical pulse inside the third year yeah i hope everyone remembers that diagram right? <laughs> <laughs> there was a diagram, diagram that on the third year how this wave gets converted into electrical energy so i think some of you will have to revise this chapter Again, this is not here. Right. Can we put dental in our navel? Yes. Even, even here, I'm telling you, there was a person, I was recently in Haridwar and there was a person who came to me. Okay. He has written a, re a review after that. Uh -huh. He came to me with severe ear pain. Ki he is not able to sleep for last three days. And he was okay. traveling, so he could not find medicine, appropriate medicine and all that. So I just put two, two drops in his ear. And during dinner time when we met, he told me he slept for three hours. Achha. And thereafter, Achha, he, he used it in the ear, mouth, tongue, <laughs> and nose <laughs> everywhere. And he went happily. He reached his home without any trouble. So nice. But uh, uh, why to put in the navel? Uh, See, the lot of uh, this thing. Activity gets controlled. Target. Nerve endings. Basically, all are nerve endings. When you were not born, everything was being provided from this Navi only. Yeah. No, yes, yes, that is why I was asking because uh, uh, here uh, uh, I, I stay in Sikkim, it's very cold. So, skins become very dry. Right. So, never the main thing it's, and uh, we, we do, always uh, apply oils and all. That is why I was asking if we can apply it dentally. Yes, you can apply this and put a cotton. Take Sir, care. I have yes, a question. Yes. Yeah, please. Hmm. Sir, uh, like uh, after taking treatment, uh, like if the allergy subsided or the, <coughs> if, if the person is not feeling allergic at that point of time, might he had a relapse after some time or no, there, there would be no if, relapse? Uh, yeah, I think it's a great question and I must answer this uh, for everybody. See, the thing is, whatsoever environment you are living in, whatsoever dietary habits you are having, whatsoever physical exercises you are doing, means your lifestyle, whatsoever it is, with that lifestyle, you got this issue. So certainly your lifestyle, either your lifestyle needs to be uh, altered to take care of this or you may require some more immuno boosters at, after some intervals. Because if you lead the same lifestyle, you are going to go back into the situation. We, we, I, I always say in gyropathy, we repair human body and organs. It is like getting your car repaired from a mechanic. 
so if you bring the car mechanic has repaired it now you start making it jump in every speed breaker and make it fall into every ditch uh -huh. i think you will be back in to the mechanic after a short time so it depends right. how you yeah. are you going to use it if you take care of your body and you are able to uh, uh, provide food and uh, other material which is nutritious and healthy i think you will it will never repair it will never revert back because there are many people who take care of this since people are not aware how to take care of this they make mistakes okay so sometime like allergic rhinitis uh, sometime the case the cause of allergy is unknown so in that case what what should be the line of treatment <laughs> the allergy the immune system so allergic rhinitis in any case concerns your respiratory system yeah so let's deal with the respiratory system it will get resolved okay. uh, sir ispana there are actually two things one is the diseases which are caused primarily due to our lifestyle and bad food habits and bad lifestyle habits yeah there is like what these gentlemen said that they are allergic to potato because it is genetic it is genetic for them yeah so now the genetic defects which are repaired are they also liable this, to they are they liable gene, to relapse are they liable no, to relapse they, they will not get it back because genes once repaired and the yeah appropriate protein is getting made after correction of the dna then it will not come back So my uh, baldness is genetic. Yeah, let it continue, Colonel Sahab. Let that it go off. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first thing that we should be doing. At least people will start calling you Uncle Ji now. See, <laughs> so they will say Uncle Ji, you have done your hair well. Did you do it well? Our hair is done well. No, no. All of all, all of all things are not well. I have told you this before. You probably didn't listen to the video before this. Hmm. I told that there may be cases which I can't resolve. Means it's not possible. The hundred percent all ailments will get cured in Jairupet. It might happen, but yes, I can help you. I can help you retain whatever is available. The main thing is that your chasma will go up. Our ha chasma ka I am putting in effort, and we are uh, we have almost finalized things. There are cases where the specs have gone off, मतलब uh, so and still I'm working on it. Maybe another one month or so, I should be able to come out with something which wow. will help in removing specs. Great news! Great news! Great news! Ah, Mr. Narish sir. Yeah. Mr. Narish, you are mentioning that you helped uh, nearly eight hundred people in US, right? Mr. Yes. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand people. That is really, I really salute they, you. These people, <laughs> these people, they didn't go to hospital. They remained okay. at their home and took these supplements and recovered from corona. Okay, some sir. So I want to look. Very, some of them were very severely affected. Okay, what are the supplements you have introduced, sir, uh, Mr. Narish? See, uh, Mr. Jason, the list of supplements depends upon that intensity, whatever intensity they were suffering with that. Now, uh, the highest package for a month, cost-wise, was twenty thousand eight hundred rupees. The supplements which include that was the highest means person who had uh, his cardiac system, uh, neuro system, and respiratory system all three affected. Oh, I so see. For that person, we were giving uh, supplements which were worth around twenty thousand eight hundred rupees. For others, where some of the organs there is was single organ involved or two organs involved, then accordingly the cost went down. But I'll certainly tell you all the supplements, everything, all this is there when we go into diseases and ailments and curing. I am going to uh, give you all details so that you are able to handle everything which comes to your way. You. That is the aim. As far as allergy is concerned, the basic thing that we need to understand mm -hmm. is that what system is responsible for what allergy? Yeah. Only then can we proceed. You, you, you need that. to you need to identify the root cause of that allergy. Yeah. 
once you have yeah. identified the root cause then solution is available right yeah so i think nobody else is asking questions and aparna has also stopped asking questions now she is only smiling so uh my mm -hmm. question is if something uh, like allergic if you are allergic why to eat that uh, food uh, if it is a gut ye hai jaise wheat ka hai abhi mujhe jaise samosa ka hai mujhe samosa mm -hmm. khao to gas and acidity bad jata hai so i mm -hmm. avoid it and the some the jinno ka dairy product ka hai shayad aisa hi hoga ki hamara body ko uski zarurat nahi hai नहीं बॉडी को तो देखो जरूरत है आपको समोसा देख के लगता है कि आप समोसा खाएं तो जरूरत है एंड इफ एवरीबॉडी एंड इज ईटिंग समोसा एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू ईट समोसा देन इट्स नॉट गुड इट गिव्स यू लॉट ऑफ इन फीलिंग इनसाइड कि व्हाई दिस पीपल आर एबल टू ईट नहीं नहीं ऐसा तो पता नहीं है पर अवॉइड किया पर अभी मैं स्लोली स्टार्ट किया थोड़ा थोड़ा तो ठीक है बट मेरा कहना है आजकल क्योंकि ग्लूटेन का एलर्जिक है वो बहुत ज्यादा है एंड लोग अभी अल्टरनेट जैसे मिलेट का यूज करने के लिए एडवाइस करते हैं कि वही तो हमारा इंडियन है नहीं द थिंग इज आई डोंट नो इट विल टेक लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू चेंज द लाइफस्टाइल ऑफ पीपल एंड नॉट एवरीबॉडी इज सो एजुकेटेड एंड वेल टू डू नाउ मिलेट्स आर द कॉस्टलीएस्ट ग्रेन्स व्हिच आर अवेलेबल एंड एंड द डेयरी वेरी बट वी आर नॉट गेटिंग द गुड क्वालिटी मिल्क एंड कर्ड ऑल आर डेडिकेट ओनली earlier i remember uh, we used to give these millets to the uh, people who work who had who were working in our fields ah okay or we used to give it to ha uh, we used to give it to the animals to eat mm. okay, we never ate millets but now today it's the costliest the, i was telling my wife ki sab ka ek din aata hai aata hai everything <laughs> has <laughs> day oh. aur aaj millets are the costliest and not available in good quality also So what is advisable to eat millets or the conventional grain that we are eating rice and wheat see the thing is you can uh, include millets in your diet but it's not necessarily that you switch over to millets right right but sir original food uh, what i saw in my childhood my grandmother never uh, uh, even not wheat He, he, uh, used to eat millet rice because we are Beng from Bengal, so we are uh, rice produce. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, at night, see, uh, uh, night को तो खाना लेती नहीं थी. अगर कुछ है तो थोड़ा वो कंजी. जस्ट जो भी millet का रहेगा, थोड़ा वही लेती थी. तो कहो हम लोग रोटी का यूज तो जब भी हम बंगाल छोड़े तभी से करने लगे कि रोटी रात को रोटी खाना है. वो breakfast में रोटी खाना है तो तो वैसे हमारे so this lifestyle which has got changed over the years will take back again time to switch back switch back that. yeah okay so uh, i'm closing it here the day what is the time pritam ji i think we, are, we have again gone beyond the time you should close the class at 8 because everybody has got a lot of important things to do yes sir yeah, i'm sorry I'm sorry for extending the day. Hey <laughs> sir, it's sir, because on of Friday. Do I have to start extending. with another chapter or the revision of these two? No, I, uh, uh, Sonia, I'll listen to you after this. I just want to tell Mr. Jason because I'm concerned about him. His time is now eleven, ten thirty, ten forty-five. Malaysia, he has to go to sleep before his liver is. Ah, uh, you will be commanded, Mr. Jason. Okay, sir. Excuse me, commander. Yeah, yeah. yeah. हां बोलो रिक्सेल नो आई थिंक वी हिली पीपल ईट्स लॉट्स ऑफ मिलेट्स हियर वी गेट्स नो या आई नो इन सेकंड या एंड सेकंड थिंग दैट मिलेट्स इफ यू कंज्यूम मोर मिलेट्स इट विल योर हीमोग्लोबिन विल दिस थिंग नो इट्स राइज इंक्रीज 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 यस सो मोटापा बहुत आता है फिर नहीं आई डोंट थिंक See, oh, hemo, see, total blood in your body is five liters. Okay, it can't add on to motapa in any way. There are a lot of misnomers about the body weight in the people. I'll be discussing this when I discuss about the diseases ailments. Then I'll put no, some yeah, facts in front of you. But your, 
But the hemoglobin will increase, no? With millennium. Yes. But hemoglobin and fat. The, the thing is, your body releases, uh, this gets processed in a slow form. The digestion is not so fast as in other foods. And that's why uh, the energy which is getting produced in the body is in a slow motion, slow process. So you don't need to uh, store energy in the body. It will keep on, uh, you will get a fresh energy supplied every moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sonia, you were telling anything, something. Yes, sir, I was asking ki Friday class, do I have to take another chapter or it will be revision of last two? Yeah, it will be revision of last two. Vaisa to, the whole class has understood everything. And they, are very happy. they are very happy with your teaching, but still we will have revision on Friday. Yes, we need but revision, revi sir. Revi 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 revision does not mean that you all of you... Sir, they are missing. getting addicted to revision. Achha, achha. <laughs> especially, especially Rickson is getting addicted to a lot Wait, of revision. Sorry, eh? sorry, whatever, whatever doubts are left, no, it will be clear. And it will clear all your doubts. You will not be leaving the class without clearing all your doubts in the field of health. Sir, the students are so keenly interested to learn. Yes. They want to mug up everything by the way of revising, revising, revising. <laughs> Yes, yes, they want to revision is necessary, to... sir. We have to, everything has to uh, for rem remembering now. We need revision. No, but you must remember we have already made question papers and we are ready with it. Oh, sir. So please be ready. <laughs> well, Hello. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's close Thank the you. class today. Good night, everyone. Good and night. We'll meet again on Friday. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much.